And with this mach machine that uh, Steve Jobs created, and we did a live last week where we talk about an amazing documentary called The Social Dilemma, where we talk about the dangers of living in a virtual world. And that is one of the reasons for this connection. I see whenever there is a teen pregnancy, drug usage, kids hanging out with the wrong crowd, is because they were accepted. They received approval in that crowd, something that they were not finding at home. You can do a test, observe what your kids want to do when they have free time. Who do they want to spend it with? With you or with other people or on their phone if they have, if they have a device? What do they want to do with their time? Sometimes, again, we create a life that is too complex that does not allow for free time. And we were talking about, during our Spanish Facebook Live, honey, about Teddy Roosevelt. You want to tell us that story or you want me to tell it? Um, well, you can add the what go, I go. know about that Teddy Roosevelt was a president and he was meeting with a writer, a journalist, and they were in his office. <laughs> but he had two, uh, he had a first wife, right? Oh, yeah. He, his first wife had died and he had one daughter um, from that marriage and she was now a teenager. <laughs> and Her name was Alice <laughs> and she was famous. Why was she famous? because she didn't follow the rules. Um, she was very... Um, Rebellious? Yeah. <laughs> she liked to smoke when smoking wasn't something that most girls were doing. She wanted to drive in a fast convertible. So the media loved her, you know, she was a story. Yeah, she disagreed with her dad with uh, a lot of political subjects that her dad would agree with, she would disagree with. So. Then what happened that day? Yeah, so she was meet so the president was meeting with this journalist and Alice came bursting in and um, interrupting and just basically contradicting what Teddy Roosevelt was saying and in this interview that he was having. And so finally he just lost it and sent her away and after you know, slam the door. And Get out of here before I throw you out the window. Those were his words. Okay. So then he apologized to the journalist. Just said, "Hey, you know, I'm sorry, but I can either be Alice's father or the president of the United States. There's no way I can do both." Wow. I can either be the president of the U.S. or Alice's father. I cannot possibly do both. He's the president, right? But I want you to ask yourself, have you created a lifestyle that is just too busy where you have no time? There's no possibility of you building a deep relationship with your children because you don't have quantity of time. Maybe in your career, maybe if you have a business, maybe you have a network marketing business and you're building your company and you wanna to get to the top rank, but um, you're sacrificing your kids. I remember we had some friends in Guadalajara, Mexico when we lived there and uh, she worked for a, company that was mostly women and they did makeup and stuff and she always said that they told her hey Mary I forget her name now Maria <laughs> uh, it's not important that you do the laundry what's important is that the laundry gets done it's not important that you feed your children what's important is that they're fed and that is not true because what are some of the main the most important opportunities we have every day for us to build those relationships. Because we may be thinking, you may be thinking, what are you talking about? Am I supposed to take my child out to eat every day or for ice cream every other day or go to the movies or? No, it's at home. It's doing life. Like what, honey, give us some examples. I think I, didn't I say that? Like, that was, sorry. A, was that in, oh. in the previous? I'm sorry, so we're doing <laughs> I feel the, like I already the said Spanish this, Facebook I Live. Spanish. No, I mean, we're gonna get up, we're gonna make breakfast so we can make breakfast together. And when they're little, that means more work for you to include them, but um, but you, you do it together. And later, you know, they're taking on more and more of the work. Um, you're cleaning up together, you know, eating together. It's even things like, you know, we just tend to think, okay, we're gonna go to church and they're gonna have their mm -hmm. children's activities and we're gonna have our adult activities. But we can look for opportunities to serve together as a family. Um, look for groups that will meet as families. We had a group on Saturday. We all 
you know, families met together and we went bike riding on a trail, on the trails together at a park. Um, create those kind of groups, create that kind of community with other people where it's not just, you know, everybody going off to do their own thing, but we, we have activities that we do together. And, and of course, the things that we do in our home, it's not just entertaining our kids, but we're working together. Be strategic. If you realize that you're busy with your work, you have your business, there are certain activities that are, have you separated as a family for most days of the week, then treasure carefully the few hours that you have. And maybe if you're during a busy time in your life, family life, and your kids are at an age where they need your connection, your attention, maybe that's not the time for you to go and be part of the worship team. Because that's one evening, if you do have to practice one night or two, I remember it happened to me when I played in a soccer team and I had to decide that it's not the phase in my life for me to play in a soccer team. I realized that my phase was, to be, was going to be coaching my kids team at that moment. Even for our two youngest ones, there were a couple of years, or three years, that we just pulled them out of their teams because it was going to be too much of a commitment. And we just played soccer in the backyard instead. I was so, thinking about that with athletics. You know, it's a lot of pressure on families now and I know I felt it before, like, oh no, you know, like we don't have them in soccer yet and they're not going to be any good if they ever want to play, you know, sure. you feel like you're holding them back. But I was thinking on the other side of that, now that we have kids that have graduated from high school and college, how many of kids that I know that in high school were injured and that ended their career? career? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they... They didn't even get to play up to age 18, you know? Sure. I can think of different families that that was a really important activity and it had started when the child was really young. And I don't know, I think we need to analyze. I think a lot of times um, it's not even good for our kids what we're requiring of them um, to become these athletes. You know, it's almost like they're gonna be professionals by the time they're 12. Um, it's really not good. So anyway, send us your questions. We're going to stop right here. Send us your questions about the, the subject. We're going to get into specific tips and solutions for uh, the situation you're going through. Maybe your kid is from zero to the toddler years, or maybe your kid is from five to 11 years old, or maybe you have teenagers and you're trying to see how you can reconnect with them so they don't go and make connections with other uh, peer groups that maybe is not what you would like for them. Um, we all feel the responsibility of raising successful, responsible, empowered um, kids that can become successful, responsible, empowered adults one day and have a relationship with them long term. And like I said in the beginning, we've made many mistakes, mistakes, and uh, we're going to give you a lot of those on the next few lives. But we want to help you if you think that this is something that would help somebody that you know. Share the link. Uh, the recording is going to be right here. We're going to upload it to our Cesar and Pam. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram channels. And we're going to be here uh, every Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to uh, help you how to have success in your career, in your business, without losing your soul, your family, or your health in the process, specifically in your parenting life. Okay, we're Cesar and Pam with CesarandPam.com. Thank you, guys. Uh, put down your comments right here and uh, send me your questions, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for logging in.